In this video, we'll learn how to start new courses using course materials from the previous academic year. Whether you're using the basic or enterprise version of Schoology, as a best practice, you should always start each new academic year with new courses instead of attempting to reuse the previous year's courses. New courses will ensure things like discussion boards and assignment submissions are all associated with the correct year's roster without the confusion of previous year's comments and submissions. In the enterprise version of Schoology, your courses are most likely created for you. The top three social science courses you see are new courses. Notice that they don't have course pictures. Our first step is to decide whether we want to link our sections or not. In your course drop-down menu, select See All. This area will both display your current courses and any past courses in the archived area. If you are teaching the same material across several periods to different groups of students, in the Enterprise version of Schoology, you can link these sections together. This allows you to manage all of the materials for these sections in one place while keeping the rosters separate. In linked sections, you will still have the flexibility to assign different due dates to different sections. selectively hide or show certain materials to one section and not the other, and use grading groups to assign specific work to specific students. To do this, select what you would consider your master section, which could be any one of the sections. Click the gear icon next to the section and select link existing section. Here I can link section 3 and section 2 to section 1. Note that there are a few restrictions with section linking. The course administrators must be the same in every section, and the rosters in the sections must be different. You can only link sections of the same course together, not sections of different courses. For that reason, section linking is great for junior high, high school, and higher education courses, but may not be appropriate for an early elementary school class where one teacher teaches several courses with the same students. Some elementary school teachers prefer to create their own courses instead of using the courses created by the SIS because it better reflects what their classroom looks like. Speak with your lead Schoology support contact at your organization to help guide you through this decision if you have questions. These three sections are now rolled up into one and I can manage them from one place. It is not required that you link your sections first to continue with the other steps in this video. The next step is to transfer last year's gradebook setup to this year's courses. Click the Archive tab to find last year's courses. Here is the course that I taught last year. I can click into this and revisit it exactly as it was. To copy the gradebook setup, we click into the gradebook, and the next menu down is Grade Setup. In the top right corner, click Copy Settings. This allows you all at once to copy the categories, grading scales, and rubrics to your new course. Note that final grade settings are not copied in this process. We'll talk about that a little later. Now that the grade setup is copied, let's go to your personal resources. In a previous video, we showed you how to take a course and save the entire course to your personal resources. In that video, we suggested you create collections for each subject you teach. 
If you save your whole course at once, it will neatly save in a course folder. We're going to copy this to our new course, but don't copy the entire folder or your students will have to click into that folder for everything. Instead, click into the folder and here are the top level folders we want in our course. You can select all the folders at once or select specific folders to copy into your course. Click the check boxes, then click the edit drop down and select add to course. Now I'm going to pause here for a moment and explain one decision you can make at this point that can ensure starting new courses is as simple as possible. If your course spans only one grading period, you can select all your folders at once, click the Edit drop-down, select Add to Course, and continue forward. However, if your course spans multiple grading periods, I have an expert tip for you that hopefully will save you a lot of time. When you copy these materials into your course, automatically these items will be associated with the current grading period. In other words, if some of these items should be associated with quarter two, but right now, while I'm in this process, it's actually quarter one, all of the materials will be associated with quarter one. For that reason, if unit one and unit two here are topics I'm teaching in quarter one, but unit three is a topic I'm teaching in quarter two, I'll deselect unit three and wait until the new quarter starts to copy this item. Because when I copy it, again, it will automatically associate itself to the current grading period. So here I've selected Unit 1 and Unit 2. I select the Edit drop-down and choose Add to Course. Because I linked my sections, all of my social sciences sections 1, 2, and 3 are listed all together. At this point, Schoology confirms all of the items that are copying to my course. Note that this confirmation does not show you folders, but all of the organization will be retained. Let's scroll down and look at some of the options that are available from here. At this point, you could assign due dates. The max number of points will be carried through from last year. And here's the key. Because in the previous steps, we copied our gradebook, our categories that we used last year will automatically be associated to this year's work. If I did not copy my grade setup first, these categories will not be available and you'll need to reset your categories later. So as a best practice, copy your grade setup first so the categories automatically map. You'll see this assignment also used a rubric last year that rubric also stays attached. Generally, when you're copying items in bulk, you do not need to change any of those advanced options. We'll look at how to make bulk changes in a moment. Click Import to complete this process. Now return to your courses. Note that, again, these sections are all rolled up together. And here are all the materials we just copied. Now that we're starting to teach this course again, I may want to go to future units and folders and hide them from my students on day one. Clicking the gear icon, we can edit this folder and make it invisible to students. Because this is a linked course, we have separate visibility settings for each section. There are two more steps we can take to complete the setup of this course. When I brought in all of these materials, the due dates were all reset. I may not want to go into each individual item and update the due date in each screen. Instead, you can do this in bulk. Click Gradebook in the left-hand menu. And in the top right, you should see three dots. Choose Bulk Edit. 
In this screen, you can quickly set new due dates for the upcoming year. And again, those due dates can be different per section if your sections meet on different days. Here's an expert tip. These items are listed in alphabetical order. Prepending each item name with a unit and lesson number will result in the bulk edit screen displaying in a more intuitive manner. Renaming these items in your resources area during your academic break can save you a lot of time during the setup process. Our final step is to return to the gradebook setup area and update the final grade settings. Select the link below gradebook, the grade setup. We copied all of our category scales and rubrics from last year's course, but we still need to scroll down here and change all of the final settings. If you do need to customize the weightings of your periods, the scale that is used to reflect final grades, and whether or not you are displaying or hiding those final grades, or if you need, for instance, a grade override column. If you have questions about this area, it's best to talk to the person at your organization who's responsible for the Schoology implementation or the person at your grade level or department level who is responsible for decisions on how final grades are reported or calculated. This is sometimes an organizational decision, a grade or department level decision, or a personal decision, depending on your organization. Don't forget to save your changes when done. This course is now ready to go with all of my past materials, all of the gradebook set up, my due dates updated for each section, and of course my final step will be to update a picture for this year. With your new course ready to go, you benefit from all of the work you put into your Schoology course last year.